Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean. I'm here with another video. Uh, I'm doing a response video to Jimmy Dore, and um, he is doing a response video to 60 Minutes, and uh, apparently uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene went on there and uh, called out the Democrats for being uh, pedos. She says that they're pedos, and um, this is his uh, take on this, and uh, I have to agree with Jimmy. Um, on uh, the political aisle, before I stopped voting uh, a while back, I was a Republican, you know, from the time 18 years old to the uh, time I was like 45, 46, around there. I just stopped voting because, uh, you know, I started realizing that nothing's changing, only things are getting worse, and it doesn't matter who's president. But, um, you know, Obama started this, this process of uh, the deterioration of America as we know it, and... Um, Hillary Clinton was supposed to win in uh, 2016, so that screwed everything up for the for these Luciferian Jesuits or whatever they're called. Um, I know they're Luciferians; they go by many different names: Freemasons, physicians. Um, there's different channels, like thousands of channels out there that are, um, you know, think that one particular uh, um, party is responsible, but really, in reality, is a family. And it's the Rothschilds, and then people will go out there and say, well, there's nobody bigger than them. I mean, there's somebody bigger than them running things. No, they're in everything. George Sor Soros is a Rothschild. Um, Carl, that dude uh, that looks like fucking um, Dr. Evil, he's a Rothschild. Carl, uh, whatever his name is, Swab or whatever, I don't know. Um, they're all part of the same thing. And as I've been saying for the last five years, and I'm telling you know I was right about what I was saying before. They're gonna destroy the American economy. They're gonna get rid of the petrodollar. And um, I thought when Trump was president that he would go back to gold and silver. And um, he was being impeached not for conversations that he had for Ukraine or any other stuff. He was gonna actually do what Andrew Jackson did in back in the day and get rid of the Federal Reserve and um, take care of business. You know, our own government would print their own money. There wouldn't be an outside uh, agencies doing that. And we would go back to the gold and silver. And when he started talking about that stuff, that's what got him impeached. And the fact that we are going uh, digital currency in America. It's just started um, this month. They're rolling it out. So um, in, it, in these tyrannical laws are trying to pass with the S-686 law which i you know had on my other video i was talking about it these are um unfortunately to my younger viewers and stuff like that um you know i was born in 71 so i got a chance to live in the 80s 90s and uh you know 70s 80s and 90s and they were the best times they were freest that the you know america was as free as it could possibly be and then um i warned everybody about obama because he just came out of nowhere, and then there was evidence that he was not born in America, and uh, he was actually born in Kenya. His grandmother said that she witnessed his birth in Kenya, and then all of a sudden he came up with a hokey, um, you know, birth certificate from Hawaii. But that's neither here nor there, because he actually had Ted, uh, Ted Trump, uh, was his name, Ted Cruz was running for president, and he's actually a Canadian citizen, so... He was born in Canada, and he wasn't born here in America, so he couldn't even run for president. So uh, that whole thing was, he shouldn't even been on a ticket, he shouldn't have been in debates or none of that. So we need term limits, we need more than two parties, and we need to abolish this whole entire system and start over and go back to the original 1776 um, Constitution and uh, get rid of the 1871 Constitution, which sold our, comp our, our country out. And uh, made a Rothschild profile for the for them to do business. And if you think how crazy this is, but um, it's the truth. The United States value is like five hundred and eighty-five billion dollars of all the oil, land, and everything that we have here. The monetary value is around five hundred and eighty-five billion dollars, from what I was reading. I, it could be more, but um, we're thirty-three trillion dollars in debt. And they love to use that 33, but we and the American people are not in debt. These bankers are. And um, who would lend somebody that type of money when the, the collateral they're using isn't, doesn't even cover close to what they owe? 
So the whole thing is a Ponzi scheme. The monetary system is a Ponzi scheme. Everything is fucking uh, fake and raw. It's just, it's, it's completely uh, illegitimate. God did not ordain socialism, capitalism, or any of this type of stuff. Um, we are supposed to, we, we were founded as a Christian nation. And as we've gotten away from Christianity with that asshole uh, back in the 70s telling people that they couldn't uh, worship God or say the Pledge of Allegiance because it had the word God in it. Uh, you know, and then she, she made, she started all that shit. I forget her name, but her, what, the irony of this whole thing is that lady actually got murdered by her son and he took all of her money and she died a horrible death, which I wish nothing on her like that, but her own son did that to her to steal her money. So, you know, it all backfired in the end and that's what's going to happen with this Trump indictment. And that's why these, dem, uh, these, 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 this lady is not a Republican that's talking, uh, uh, Marjorie and Taylor Greene. She's a mega, okay? And what mega, what, what Trump is going to do when he becomes president is he is going to abolish these these, this, these systems. He's going to expose it so bad, people will never vote for Democrat again. They're never going to vote for Republican again. They're only going to vote for, like, mega or people that are actually going to, uh, you know, be wanting want to uh, America to grow and become a powerful nation again. And the best way to do that is just focus on the things here, produce our own goods, produce our own products, you know, ha you know, use our oil that we already have. We have tons of natural resources. We don't need other countries, okay? So we need to shut off this foreign affair and this world economic thing and get ourselves sorted out, go back to gold and silver, and the people of America are entitled to the profits that this country makes. So once our bills are paid and all that stuff, we should be getting money back because that's in the Constitution. No state's supposed to have more than it needs, and they're supposed to give it back to the citizens. And there will be your Medicare for all for free because that we are actually owed that money. So there's one problem solved. And the other problem is <clears throat> Washington, D.C. is a foreign entity attacking a sovereign country and we are sovereign people we're not you know we're not federal uh, entities we're not uh, corporate entities we're living breathing human beings and we are not uh, part of what this what they're trying to do to you okay and and unfortunately like I said it's gonna get worse the fact that they can go after a sitting president or uh, you know an ex-president uh, for these hokey crimes that uh, allegedly he did, and even if he did do any of these crimes, the, the, the fucking the statutes of limitations are over on it. But what's going on here is Trump is exposing this corrupt dual party system and uh, this witch hunt that's going on. But it took a billionaire to get arrested for uh, the, the rest of the American people to wake up to realize what other uh, people have known for decades. Joe Biden in the 90s put the harshest criminal laws out there, black people, white, poor, poor white people, people that had no money, they got caught up in that system, they were in there, they would be in prison uh, for five years for carrying a, a you know, a, a crack cocaine the size of a, a quarter, um, they would be put in prison for five years, now instead of helping the people get off of addictions, like his son, his son according to, to what Joe did in, in the 90s, would be in prison for the rest of his life, for having that possess possession of cocaine and all the other stuff, what the, Trump is exposing this is this is how bad and stupid these people are. That he's saying, and it's true because everybody's seeing this now. He's saying either you vote for me or you're voting for the deep state. Anybody else besides me is deep state, and that and and it, that's a no brainer. You know, independents are seeing this, Democrats that are seeing this. Republicans are seeing this, and now you have a mega movement going on, which is witchcraft. Mega means it's, it's a spell, okay? They use it in the orders, uh, you know, the Freemason order orders and stuff like that. So you're being, you have a spell put on you, and people aren't realizing this other stuff here. As a Christian, it's April right now, so we're going through Passover, and into this Sunday will be uh, Easter, Okay? So Trump, intent, he was supposed to be arrested last week, but either this is biblical prophecy or he's doing this intentionally, to, um, or they're doing this intentionally 
to, 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 to coincide with the crucifixion of Christ coming up on Sunday. And Trump is actually comparing himself to Jesus Christ, okay? Which is blasphemous and all the other stuff that goes along with it. And there's many people out there, and I mean many, many people. There's uh, Twitter is full of people that have evidence through biblical evidence that Trump is the Antichrist. So that's neither here nor there, because that's going to happen. That's biblical prophecies, and we don't know what's going to happen, you know, when he becomes president. But at first, he's going to come off nice, and then he's going to set up a dictatorship or a monarchy where his family and close people will be in control of everything. By them going after Trump, they literally gave him the power when he becomes president to go after every one of these people. And I'm going to tell you who's going to be first, in my opinion. It's not going to be Joe Biden. It's actually going to be Obama. And he's going to expose the fact that Obama was not a, a legal citizen, you know, a natural born citizen to, to run for president. Then he's going to go down the, the list of uh, Hillary Clinton, the Clintons, the Epstein list. And that's what they're scared of. All these um, late night comedians, they're on there fucking trashing, uh, uh, they're trashing Aaron Rodgers because he's like, hey, what's up with this list? You know, we want to know who's on the list and why are there an arrest being made? And of course, they are saying, oh, you took too many hits. Now I'm a huge Aaron Rodgers fan because I think the dude's solid and he's he knows what's going on and he's exposing it just like this fella here, Jimmy Dore. So <clears throat> I don't have a live stream. So these videos I make is sort of a live stream for me to communicate with my subscribers and to let you know what's going on. But it's much bigger than Trump being arrested. It's actually, the, they're distracting you from all the wars that are going on. Our dollar is going to be not worth about as much as a peso. Okay, that's where we're at on that. The petrodollar is done. All the other countries that were using our petrodollar, including Japan, they're supposed to be an ally, India, all of these big ones, they started brick. They're going out and they're buying all kinds of gold and silver. And that they're stopping the production of oil. So uh, oil will be expensive. So, so if you folks that are doing stock market times, you might want to look into some cheap oil stocks. Because they're going to go through the fucking roof. Because they're going to attract the price of oil so badly to force you to have uh, you know, an electric car. Because uh, Biden is actually you know, giving people incentives. To uh, when they build businesses, hotels, and all that, to have electric uh, portables there, and they get discounts on their taxes and get uh, you know funding for that. So, and then this is a you know, these people can put solar panels on your roof for you to save energy, but they can't put solar panels on the cars so they can recharge themselves as they're driving down the street. Look, dude, I have like a year and a half of college. And that was back in the 90s, and I went to school for clinical psychology and, and studied that stuff and also was going to, you know, be a coach. I like to coach uh, football and stuff like that, but I never did that, you know. But I did coach tennis, and I played semi-pro tennis, so I have experience with dealing with people from different countries and different, um, you know, personalities and stuff like that. So this has been going on for a long time. It takes years to infiltrate a country and they're, used, they're literally using the same tactics that Abraham Lincoln was using back when he was president. Anybody that had any kind of any newspapers that, read any, that wrote any kind of derogatory things about uh, Abraham Lincoln, those people were arrested. Their presses were fucking burnt to the ground. And um, some of them were executed. And even uh, Thomas Jefferson's grandson died in the war. So he was even fighting against it. It wasn't a war about slavery because Abraham Lincoln literally hated black people and wrote all kinds of nasty shit about them. And then when he became uh, president, he wrote this bullshit emancipation. But I, he didn't give you no liberation. He didn't liberate you. He gave you emancipation, which means that you're able to work for the government, travel around where you want to go in, inside America. But you're going to be uh, under their guidelines. You're never free and you aren't free now, you aren't liberated, and they were supposed to amend that 13th Amendment and make it where people were liberated and not emancipated. That's a different story. Nobody's going out and doing any research on anything. No one's going out there to debunk the shit that's going on, and nobody cares 
uh, about what's going on in our society until it's too late. We have transgenders and all these other folks out there doing all kinds of crazy shit. And they're the smallest percentage of people on the fucking planet, but they have the, loud, the loudest voices. People aren't standing up against this. If you're a Christian, a Jewish person, or whatever, don't matter, Muslim, you have in your Bible and in your Torah and on the, in, the, in the Quran all them all the laws that God, your God gave you, and it all is against that type of stuff. And 50, 60 years, even 100, well, 100 years ago, they would be run out of our society. There wouldn't be none of that. And it doesn't because that who they are. It's what they're trying to do. Like, they are trying to convert and pollute and pervert a whole entire societies into their, their, their sick way of living. And like I said, this is a country that was founded on God with Christianity. And what's happening is God is going to put punishment on America until we go back to our original uh, ways of doing stuff. And that means that people were left alone. You you know, you let people be whatever they are because you're not God to put judgment on them like that. But these people weren't going around doing what they're doing now in the 80s and 90s. They just wanted to be left alone with their significant other. And then they put AIDS on these folks, and um, which was man-made. It was a man-made thing, and they killed a bunch of people for it. And mostly of them were gay. And even back in the day, the protesters, the homosexual protesters and stuff would expose Fauci badly. They would go to the hit wherever he was at, expose him. There were people dying. Like I say, if you really want to see a, a good movie about what was going on back then, watch that movie Philadelphia. And he was a, that guy was a successful attorney and lost all of his rights and shit because he was gay and had AIDS. And it, and it was a sad movie, but it was truth in it. You know? And they do put movie in truth. So this shit that this we're getting ready to see is a psyop, obviously. I know I'm talking a little bit, but I want to back. I want you to understand that there's a bigger picture besides what this lady's saying. So let's hear what Jimmy has to say, and let, I'll get into this. This is to me. I think this is funny. Oh yeah, right. And right. think she says that are over the top, like the Democrats are a party of pedophiles. I would definitely say so. They support grooming children. They are not pedophiles. Why would you say that, Democrats? So now, I just want to stop it there. Why is Leslie Stahl, how do you know who's a pedophile and who isn't a pedophile, A? B, wouldn't that be like someone saying, Donald Trump is not working for Putin? Isn't that the equivalent? Well, you didn't do that. You gave all those accusations legitimacy. You didn't go, come on, Donald Trump is not a traitor to the country working for a foreign entity against our own country. You didn't say that. I think she at the end does the oh my god. Yeah, she got that. Oh, yeah. But she didn't say that. She didn't say that then. But now, when somebody called, by the way, I don't. I, I think Joe Biden's daughter, uh, her diary leaked, and she didn't want to shower at home anymore because of her creepy old father. Because she likes to waste water. And they all <laughs> hung Jeez. out with God. Jeffrey Epstein. Well, the. They all hung out with Jeffrey Epstein. They all went. They all went on his Lolita Express. They all went to his island. So go f yourself, defending somehow these people aren't the worst people yeah. in the world. I was like, hey, guys, both of you, just calm down. You're all bit of a. <laughs> you're all. You're all. People that are mad, you know, and people like this grooming and this and that. I'm not saying there's not, but you do remember the kids were getting molested at church before this, right? That's right. So don't. They're everywhere. They're, you know, it's not one side. Wherever you go, if you're not keeping an eye, it's filled with predators, with predators. that will grab your kids. That's right. They're There's, not safe in like a conservative or a Democrat thing. It's it, everywhere. It's the, it's not just the Catholics. It's the Jewish community. It's the it's every community. Every organization. Every organization. With authority. It's the Boy yeah. Scouts. Yeah. It's the, 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 the... It turns out they can get into anywhere. It turns, it's heads of state. Heads of state. It's the Mossad, the CIA. It's former prince. It's princes. <laughs> So, and he, she's acting like that's crazy. Well, because she's a Democrat. I think it's crazy for her to go the Democrats are probably like... They're all pedophiles. Well, who's that Republican <laughs> that got kicked out for wrestling with all the young page boys? Oh, that's right. What's Remember, his name? He was the former... The, uh, the, the, the House Speaker. The Hastert. Hastert. Denny Hastert. Hastert. Yeah. yeah. And Hastert, they were actually pretty young. It wasn't just some yeah. kind of gay thing. It was actually underage, real weird stuff. Yeah. 
So yeah, so she, I would I would say she's wrong for saying Democrats. I mean, she's not a rocket scientist either. Her and Leslie Stahl, between the two of them, they don't exactly. So she calls the, the Democrats. She calls the Democrats pedophiles, and the Republicans. I mean, uh, so the, she calls the Democrats pedophiles, and the Democrats call the Republicans traitors to our countries and white supremacists. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, six to one, half a dozen. I, it's just like. Two people, roughly the same intellect, right now facing off. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start it again. To your question back, why can't we push for peace? Oh wait, Leah did that one. And things she says that are over the top, like the Democrats are a party of pedophiles. I would definitely say so. They support grooming children. They are not pedophiles. Why would you say that? Democrats. So Democrats support. Even Joe Biden, the president himself, supports children being sexualized and having transgender surgeries. Sexualizing children is what pedophiles do to children. Wow. Gosh. Mike, drop. Mike, drop. All she can say is wow. All I can say is wow. Never in my craziest, wildest fucking dreams I've ever had in my life would I ever think that America would stoop to this level. Ever. All these channels out here with these military guys making videos about stuff and oh you gotta buy supplies and take care of yourself and shit like that. Bro, they're literally gonna shut your fucking cards off. They're gonna shut your your uh your payment systems off, all that stuff. And you may be able to take care of yourself, but you have family members, you know, like daughters and sons and a and a wife that aren't trained by the Marines or military or any of that. They're regular fucking people, and they're going to suffer the worst because they won't know how to deal with living off the land. Very few people, and it may come to that. And then you're going to have to defend your food that you that you fucking um, that you end up getting and stuff. The, the the easiest solution to this problem because there's too many cowards in this country. The easiest solution to this problem is that the southern states need to secede from the federal government. Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, uh, Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas, uh, up to what you know, to the Virginias. You have to get away from this. This is not working. Okay, they are they are destroyed our country, and it's only getting worse. And the governors are supposed to to uh, represent the citizens of that in that area, and a lot of the citizens don't want to be part of this. We have people fighting over Democrats and Republicans when they're both the same monster, okay? It's like that big snake that has the two heads on it or six heads on it, the dragons, and you're, like, you know, fighting one and then the other one attacks you. Well, that's what's going on here. But the real thing is this digital currency stuff and these laws, these tyrannical laws, they're all voting on this, Republicans and Democrats. You need to start over. We need to start over. This is how you fix this. Until the people's voice, or this is supposed to be a government for the people, not a small amount of fucking lunatics and pedos and uh, Luciferians, okay? Our country wasn't set up that way. And that's why we're having all these problems. And until people wake up and start doing something about it, like, just don't participate in it. Don't participate in none of this. We really, the way to, the, besides doing the, the, you know, succeeding from the, the federal government, uh, you could do this and try to fix this problem, but you have to get everybody out and start over. And that would be a complete work stoppage in America. And I mean everybody from uh, doctors on down to Circle K Walmart employees. Nobody. All restaurants. Everybody. And it wasn't closed before. I mean, Walmart was still open during the pano and all that pandemic and all that stuff. They were all, all these big companies were open. I'm talking about every fucking person that works a job. You sit home until they are out of office. We want you out of office. We're going we're gonna to pick people from our community that represent our morals and have a runoff and, and have them represent new Congress people, new senators, all of it. Term limits in Congress, term limits in Senate. You're not making no goddamn money off a of fucking stock market or nothing like that. What you are going to do, you're supposed to live in the district that you represent for your, your constituents. You're supposed to live there. And while you are there, the people of that area will take care of you. You don't have to pay for your mansion or your housing or any of that stuff. You're going to be taking care of while you're in the Senate and while you're as a congressperson. 
and everybody will have free Medicare for all because I'm tired of hearing people, we can't afford it, it's trillions of dollars uh, cheaper, and um, we're entitled to that money that these government people are taking. So they already crashed the first part of the, the Federal Reserve, but there's another part which people don't understand, and that is the part that it's our money, the people's money. Now they're tapping into that and getting that. That's why they're talking about raising the ages of Social Security, uh, trying to get rid of Medicare, I mean, all kinds of fucking shit that nobody voted for. And you, as a as a person that's participating into this, this grift that's going on, you're supposed to be notified about what they're voting on. You, you're supposed to say, hey, I don't want you to vote for this, or I want you to vote for that. And it's not, we don't need all these laws all the time. We need a few basic laws, and these laws are you don't steal off anybody, you don't murder anybody, and you don't fucking start problems with people. You know what I mean? It's real simple shit. And if and, and if you got these repeat offenders, just get a fucking island somewhere and ship them there and let them sort it out. I mean, if you got people that are, are serial killers like Ted Bundy and all that stuff, and it's undisputed evidence. You gotta fucking take them out. They shouldn't be in prison for fucking decades and stuff like that. Put them on a fucking island and let them do. And just like in the Escape from New York, or take Washington D.C. and fence it all off and get the people, their citizens, out of there and and arrest all these people, these these politicians, and let them stay there. And they're, that's their prison. And uh, hold them accountable for this shit. Really, we, we could have trials all day long for treason and high crimes against humanity, war crimes. You're going to put Trump in jail for some bullshit. And, and I mean it. And I ain't taking sides. But they're going to let a, Barry Obama walk around. You know what I mean? He used 90% of his drone, drone, drone attacks were uh, uh, drone attacks were killed innocent people, civilians. 90%. Yeah, and then you have the biggest, two biggest war criminals and uh, crimes against humanity, uh, George Bush Jr. and uh, and his boy uh, Dick Cheney walking around free as it could be. And, you know, Hillary Clinton with the 33 emails, there's, she did way worse than that, the shit she's been doing. But, you know, she wasn't president and committed war crimes against countries and her own people. And we still don't know where that two trillion dollars went the day before um, 9/11 happened. Then the next day, you know, Rumfield comes out and says we're missing two trillion dollars. And then the next day, 9/11 happens. So there's more than th this has been going on for a while. And uh, like I say, we're a nation full of cowards. You out of 200 million or 350 million American citizens here, we can't stand up against this tyranny before we end up like Venezuela or Mexico. And there's no reason for Mexico not to be a powerhouse. They have natural resources and all kinds of land and stuff over there. It's poor It's poor government. You know, it's mind control. Government literally means mind control in Latin. And, uh, and it wasn't set up for that, you know. It was set up for us to have a voice and to have a, 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 a security. Because the government really is supposed to just defend our borders uh, from foreign and, and domestic uh, uh terrorists or you know people that are trying to cause war against us and to make sure the other states have what they need to to function correctly at this point the states are warning themselves anyway because you know i live in florida and and yes and if a big hurricane comes we need fema no all the all the citizens in florida can just donate money to get this fixed we don't need federal assistance there's enough people in florida and there are billionaires uh, that live in Florida, they can buy areas, you know, there are people in this country that have more money than the, uh, than, than America's worth, and that's saying a lot, you know, and like, somebody like Elon Musk could get with, uh, 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 Bezo and buy America, literally, so, and this, the, the, the problem with what is, you know, the, this has all started way before we were born, and, and it's just gotten worse, and one family's responsible for this, and it's the Rothschild family. And I've been saying this for decades, and no one wants to listen to me. And it's too late now. So, and as I said, if they put this law out there, that the S six eight six, every social media platform I'm on, I'm done with it. Because I didn't even download none of that shit to my new phone. I got my old old phone, which I'm using right now to record. I am off of everything. Good luck, because you think if I'm going to go to jail 
or uh, be uh, persecuted for you folks that don't care about our country and don't care about anything going on, you're sadly mistaken. I have better things to do with my life than worry about what you folks are, uh, you know, without, don't want to help anybody, you know? So um, I've done what I can do. And I, when history is down and they go and look at people like myself and other channels that were on here trying to wake people up and to uh, help, help the help the world become a better place with all, you know, with all people, you know, because slavery was started by the Rothschild family, and uh, they stole the Jewish her heritage. Most black people were Jewish, okay, and they stole the heritage from you folks, okay, you're God-chosen people, so, and that's why these devils are going after you, and they are not just white, they're all colors, even your own people, so, you know, you get to learn about your heritage, and stuff like that. But you are an American citizen. You're not African American. You're an American. And I'm an American. And we are brothers and sisters in Christ. And God gave you special uh, skills to communicate with him. And you folks would rather go out and do crimes. And sell drugs to your community. And not help your uh, fellow man. And your punishment is going to be more severe than mine. Or anybody else's. Because God gave you more chances than he gave us because you're his chosen people and your history was stolen okay and it does and people say well jesus wasn't white and because of this uh in revelations or whatever but let me explain something to you i don't really care what color jesus is but the prophet uh muhammad was whiter than snow amongst the people that were completely dark skin and red skin people okay so these abnormalities is what made that guy special and unique. And the same with Jesus. He could have been white amongst those people. And that's why he stood out so much. Because anywhere he walked, people knew who he was. You know, and the fact that he was helping people. So, you know, they're going to do everything to make Jesus look like he wasn't a real person. And he wasn't here to take our sins. And Trump is trying to steal that fire. You know, steal. he's trying to compare himself to Jesus Christ. And you have to watch, folks. It's not, it's not good. Use discretion, you know, discernment, discretion, and uh, and be prepared. But don't go, don't hate your brothers and sisters because of what you see on TV. Now, if somebody comes to your home and tries to harm you or your family, you cannot hesitate. You cannot be reluctant. You have to take care of that situation by any means necessary, okay? Don't go out there trying to hurt people. Nothing ever good comes out of that. And you're actually promoting, you're promoting the Luciferian agenda because they want you to do that. Now, people get things twisted. There's a difference between murder and killing somebody. When you murder somebody, you murder them because for no reason at all. It's just you did it. When you're killing people, like in war times, it's different. God looks at that differently. It says it in the Bible, thou shalt not murder. It doesn't say kill. It says murder. So... There's a lot of things that were changed because the, the languages are different. You're going from Greek to Latin to uh, to he, uh, Hebrew and other types of trans, like, uh, trans uh, languages that aren't even around anymore that we're just discovering. So when you try to put that into our language, which is the most fucked up language on the earth, is English. It's just, just uh, ridiculous and overcomplicated. Latin is a lot, a lot easier to use and it's more proficient. And it doesn't have all these rules and regulations like uh, like our, our language does. But it is what it is So right now. So I wish everybody the best. I really do. I wanted to let you guys see this stuff. And I just don't want anybody going out there doing stupid stuff. If you're in New York, order yourself a pizza. Get off the job. Order yourself a pizza. Go turn the TV on because every channel will have it. And sit here and watch this circus called the Trump arena, uh, uh, you know, uh, prosecution. Because I'm telling you, you, the Democrats made a mistake on this by going after this guy like that. Because he is going to become president. And when he does, your days are numbered. You're all going to be arrested. And he's going to find a way to execute you. Okay? So you're not going to just go to jail. You're going to be executed for crimes. You started this stuff. You're going to have Trump be the second or, no, the third dictator in America. Because Abraham Lincoln has that dubious title along with Biden, what he's doing now. And, uh, you know, who in the hell 
would ever think about the you know trying to put Obama, uh, Michelle Obama, or Mike Obama, wherever you think of him, they're talking about that that creature running for uh, office. What qualifications does any of these people have? I mean, at least Joe Biden has been in politics for fifty years, and it doesn't you know he somebody like myself that's never been in politics. I'll be in there trying to help the people, and they're like, no, 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 we don't do that that way, my man. We got to do, uh, we got to get a little money out of this. We're going to money laundry, with, we're going to send money to Ukraine, and then we money launder it back to us through this FTC thing, and then um, that's how we do business, Sean. You can't be helping people. That's what the fuck are you doing? You're going to make the whole system cr- uh, break down. You can't go help uh, homelessness and, and help people that need medical treatment. And get these people the proper treatment that they need so they're not on YouTube and TikTok and telling themselves they're going to cut their penises off and make themselves into a fucking um, raggedy Ann, you know? So uh, we can't do that. But they, these Luciferians better pray to wherever God they pray to that I never become president. Because they're, I will put every single one of them in prison and I will televise it, the Epstein list, all of it. They're all going down, and we will protect our children of all colors, of all creeds, of uh, everybody that lives here. You're going to get free medical treatment, and we're going to make sure you have a home to live in, and I have a solution to that problem, too. Every person will have a home, and we'll be, and, and there are going to be lots and lots of rest, folks. So TV will turn into uh, a rest TV, and uh, I probably would just mean about two and a half years. To, to arrest all these people, and then uh, obviously I would set up a hotline to the to the uh, to the White House or whatever, so people could call in and tell me what kind of problems they're having, so we can address this in Congress like it's supposed to be done, and listen to the uh, to the people's voices. And obviously my cats are coming with me, Pen Pen and Patches, and my lovely wife Ashley, because uh, Patches don't do no business between twelve and three p.m. He takes his sleeps. And neither does Pen Pen. She won't be doing no business between 12 and 4 uh, because she sleeps a little bit longer. She's a little bit younger and she does playtimes. But other than that, they'll be my vice presidents and uh, we'll do business with them. And they'll let me know what they think because they don't don't like war because it hurts their little ears. And uh, they love people. So just keep that in mind, folks.